So in this tutorial, we're going to continue on with our level. And you can see I added quite a few things here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to click one of these pictures, which launches us out of this room and actually launches us into a big sphere where we can look around uh, at that big 360 degree picture. So let's get started. As you can see, I added quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, we have these UI elements, uh, some are 3D, others are 2D sitting on the walls. Um, I also added a new shader to the room uh, that'll give us a cool effect when we want to get out of the room or dissolve out of the room. So let's get this set up. Uh, as you can see, I added a new object uh, that's called Scene Controller, which is going to control all of our button clicks and our uh, dissolving of the room to get out of it to see the sphere and changing the texture on the sphere. Because what we want to do is, if I want to click Beach, I want the sphere on the outside to launch me into the beach. And if I want to look at Big Bend, then we'll look at Big Bend. And I think we have the Louvre over there as well. So in my scene controller script, you can see we just have a basic mono behavior right now. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to reference the travel room. Next we're going to reference the travel room environment, or and this is kind of where we're going to get the renderer for the actual travel room itself because the travel room is our parent remember it's it's everything the travel room environment is just that model the cube room that we brought in from the uh, Google SDK and next we're gonna have a we have a bunch of controls like we just saw uh, the uh, sphere here uh, this picture here and that picture there and we don't want those in the sphere when we clear out this room so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a uh, list for that just call that travel room controls and we'll just cycle through that list and turn them on and turn it off uh, when we want to Okay, and we're also going to need the sphere itself. We'll just call that sphere 360 so you can see that. And we're also going to need a list of textures that we're going to change the sphere with. Oops. So if I click Big Bend, or beach, we want to grab that corresponding texture uh, and then apply that to the sphere. And as you can see, it added it right here. So let's go ahead and set these up. So I'm going to move the travel room here. Got the travel room environment, which is that. Move that there. Uh, looks like we have one, two, three, four controls. Uh, the Sphere 360 we don't have up there yet. And we need three textures. Now I've already imported these textures in. So I'm just going to select them. Let's take a look at one of these textures as well. So if you look here, it's actually split in half is what the camera really takes a picture of, right? It's two, generally it's two 
images that are 190 degrees that are attached together. So when you wrap it around a sphere, it makes a 360 degree image. Okay, so now we have our three textures. Uh, Beach is going to be zero, Big Ben's going to be one, and Louvre is going to be two. So in my buttons, we can see that we need to make a function to call from our buttons. So let's call this go to skybox. We're going to change out the skybox uh, with the number that corresponds to the array of textures that we have. And then we're going to grab the sphere 360 and we're going to get the renderer and then grab the material and then grab the main texture and then we're going to set that to the textures and we'll grab the skybox index Now we're also going to have to update the controls when we want to go to the skybox. So we're going to make a couple other functions here. Uh, one of which is going to be uh, just a basic void. We're going to call this updates travel controls and we'll pass in a bool and say if they're active or not. And then for each game object that's referenced uh, in travel room controls. We'll just do the object set active. Okay. So every time we go to the skybox, we want to dissolve the room out. So we're going to update the travel controls. We're going to set them to false. And now we need to access my little custom shader script that I made. As you can see in the environment, we have a little custom dissolve shader here. Uh, it has a little bit of dissolve intensity, edge range. Uh, I believe this was a generalized dissolve shader you can get in the Unity Wiki. Uh, I just modified it quite a bit. Uh, you can see we're going to just blend in and blend out like that. So for that we're going to have to do uh, I enumerator because we're going to start a new coroutine so we can yield return which slows the script down a little bit. And we'll say dissolve room and we're going to do let's do a float from a low point and then float to a high point. Basically like a from and to value. Actually, you know what? Let's call it that. Call it from value to value, just like that. Okay, and let's do a basic for loop with time. We're going to add a generalized time of, let's do like 1.5 seconds. But we're going to take t and we're going to add time.delta time to it. And then we're going to divide that by 2 so we can kind of gauge the speed. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the, uh, the variable that we set or that I set in the shader which is the uh, dissolve intensity and then we're just going to lerp uh, 
from the from value to the to value. Uh, that way we can go back and forth. So I'm going to do uh, travel room environment, get components, we're going to do render, and then we're going to grab the material, and then we're going to set the float. And I believe I called it dissolve intensity. And then we're going to do a math f lerp. And we'll do that from the from value to the to value. And then we're going to do that over t, which is time. And right under that, we're also going to need a yield return null. Now the other thing is we're going to have to check and see if the two value is less than zero. And the reason for that is if it's less than zero, that means that the room is back in play and it's all you see. You're not going to see the sphere. So then we're going to update the travel controls. And we're going to set them active to true. So now you're back in the room. We're going to update the controls to bring them all back. So now we can do a start coroutine. We're going to dissolve the room at a rate uh, starting value of zero, and we're going to go to 1.5 F dissolved intensity. And we're going to need a way to get back to the travel room. So in that case, we're going to do a public void to go to travel room. And we'll do start coroutine, dissolve room again. But this time we're going to go from the max, which is 1.5, and we're going to go all the way to negative 0.5 to make sure that we don't have any, any anomalies in there. Okay, that should be everything we need for our uh, scene controller. So let's go set this up. You can see we still have all the controls and everything set, except we don't have a sphere 360. So I'm going to go into my prefabs and I have a sphere that's already set up. And if I fly out on the scene here, there we go. You can see that it just created a sphere that's pretty large. And then the box of the travel room is just sitting inside of the, the sphere with the 360 photo on it already. And this is actually a shader that comes from cardboard and unlit texture that's on this sphere. Uh, sphere. So in the scenario controller, I'm going to set the sphere to it. Now what we can do is we can go back and let's check on our buttons. Make sure they're linked to scenario controller, go to skybox, and then here's the index that we want to go to. Let's just check these two for the Louvre. Desert is one. And I also added a exit button so that when the room goes away, we'll be able to click this and the room will come back into play. And we'll make sure that's set up. Nope, so we're going to scene controller, go to travel room. Save it, and let's see what happens. See we have the beach picture, big bend over there, the Louvre, so let's try the beach first. Uh, you can see we have the nice dissolve out. Now you can look around in 360 degrees. And we come back, let's see if we can go back to the travel room. Dissolves back in. Controls come back on. 
click on Big Bend. And all we're really doing here is just flipping the textures on the on that sphere on the outside. So let's go back to the travel room again. Find out where the Louvre is. There we go. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We're going to come back with a whole bunch of other things that you're probably going to need uh, for setting up everything with Google Cardboard, so stay tuned.